When you're multiplying fractions, you're going to multiply straight across. That means you're going to multiply the numerators together, the top numbers, and multiply the denominators together, the bottom numbers. Um, so I would do 4 times 3, that's 12, and 9 times 7, that's 63. A common mistake that students make when they're multiplying fractions is to try to cross multiply. Cross multiplication is when you have two fractions with an equal sign in the middle and you're missing one of the numbers. If you're just multiplying them, you go straight across. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. After you multiply, you want to make sure your answer is simplified. So you want to look at your numerator and denominator and see if there's any common factors that you can divide out. Um, they're not even, so I know I can't divide them by 2, but I can divide them both by 3. So if I divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number, I can reduce the fraction. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 63 divided by 3 is 21. 4 and 21 don't have any common factors, so this fraction is simplified as far as it can go. Another way you can do this problem is to simplify at the beginning. Um, if you want to, before you multiply, you can look at your numerators and denominators and see if there's any common factors you can divide out. So I can see right here from the beginning that this 3 and 9, these can both be divided by 3. So if I wanted to, I could divide them both by 3 at the beginning and then multiply across. And I see that I get the same answer. 4 times 1 is 4, 3 times 7 is 21. You can do it either way, so you can choose to simplify at the beginning or the end. I usually tend to simplify at the beginning um, because then I'm using smaller numbers when I multiply. So let's look at this one. We'll try it both ways. If I multiply first, I go straight across. 9 times 8 is 72. 16 times 15 is 240. Now this fraction is not simplified. So if I'm going to simplify it, I'm looking for factors that they have in common. What numbers can I divide into both 72 and 240? They're both even, so I could start by dividing by 2, and then I could keep simplifying if I wanted to. Or I could look for the greatest common factor, um, the largest number that goes into both of those. Um, and in this case, I can divide them both by 24. If you're not able to find the greatest common factor, just find some number that you can divide into both of them, and then keep dividing until you can't divide any more. 72 divided by 24 is 3, and 240 divided by 24 is 10. 3 and 10 don't have any factors in common, so this would be the simplified answer. For this problem, I think it's easier if you had simplified in the beginning because then you're dealing with smaller numbers. So if I had simplified at the beginning, I can see that this 8 and the 16, they can both be divided by 8. So 8 divided by 8 is 1. 16 divided by 8 is 2. And this 9 and the 15, these have a common factor of 3. So I can divide these both by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And now when I multiply across, I get 3 times 1, that's this 3 here, and 2 times 5 is 10. So I tend to do the simplifying first. Um, I think that's usually easier because you're dealing with smaller numbers when you multiply. But you can do it either way. Just make sure that your final answer is simplified.